Jane. Jean. R. Rogers. All right, let's read that from the beginning and see how it sounds. Dear wheelchair maker, please build me a new wheelchair. I don't need anything fast and maneuverable like what Aaron has. He's just a show off anyway. It doesn't have to be super strong like what Brad a.k.a. Brad the Tank uses. I just need something simple so I can take my doggy Cheyenne for a walk. Oh, it does have to be small enough to fit on your standard elephant. When I'm scuba diving, I leave my chair in the boat. Sometimes I like to ride on the flying bridge of the boat back to shore. Therefore, the chair must be resistant to saltwater sea spray. It must be small enough so that when I take the rear wheels off, it can sit on the bow of a riverboat so I can explore the Costa Rican jungles. The wheelchair must be comfortable enough that I can relax watching the scenery from a train, watching the riverboats go by in Thailand, or trekking in Machu Picchu in the Peruvian Andes. The chair must be lightweight and resent to extreme temperatures so I can take it with me when I go camping in the Himalayas with my Sherpa friends. It has to be easily disassembled so I can put it in a doko on the back of a Sherpa. The chair must reflect my personality. It should be rugged yet handsome. Sometimes my chair and I get separated, so I want to spot it easily. I'm thinking painting it Hummer yellow will help. The chair must be easy to take up or down steps. Oh, and it has to be cool enough I can still have fun with the ladies. Sometimes I just don't know what to expect when I go traveling. So make it small and light enough to fit on this three-wheeler in the Philippines, on this stair machine in Japan, and on this bridge in Costa Rica. When I sail on this tall ship, the Tenacious, I like to sit in a bowsprit, but I don't want to tip over backward. So I use these sea legs my brother and I invented to keep me upright. I also take my turn at the helm and definitely don't want to flip backward when we hit the big waves. Occasionally, I'll go up to the crow's nest to get a better view. I want a chair that's easy to haul. That goes double when I'm lifted out of one of these zodiacs. It would be both embarrassing and dangerous if my chair fell apart and I was dropped into the ocean. It must be strong enough it will not fall apart when I check out the cliffs in Socorro, New Mexico. Or when I go bridge swinging in South Africa, one of my favorite pastimes. Sometimes I just like to hang around. Did I mention it must be cool enough I can still have fun with the ladies? Oh, last but not least, it must be low enough that I can win the next limbo contest. Sincerely, Gene R. Rogers. Hmm. I think that'll be it.